So if we think of, of you know the astrological calendar with the solstices, yes, we, we all got this picture, right? And the equinoxes, new force enters on the winter solstice, and that it does a whole cycle and then it leaves in the summer solstice. Um, and also, it's not only leaving, but also coming into full, because the, the calendar, the yearly calendar, is very similar also to the way a, a lunar month goes. So if you think of this winter solstice as the new moon, okay, then it will come to a full moon, yes, okay, which is also time of the harvest, the, the moon, yes, because it's the full moon and things are in full blossom and this is the time to pick up the herbs because, you know, their essence is out there. So things are also cleaning on one hand, but also coming to full blossom in the a summer solstice. And everything is talking with everything, you know, the, the fact that the planetary calendar is so alive this year. Yes, it's never been like that. You know, I used to always like, miss, oh my God, it's the it's all this, it's the equinox, you know. But now it is so alive and, you know, the, and how everything uh, coincides, yes, with the... Uh, um, solstice and the eclipses in the beginning of 2020, the equinox and the quiet, earthly quietness, everything's together. Now we're going into extremes and differentiation between different countries. And then a, something else is going to happen now with the, the two lunar eclipse and in the middle, the solar eclipse on the solstice. So we're really heading towards something which is one, on one hand, a cleaning, a wash of, of like everything. I, I do feel, yes, that the, the corona situation, the lower situation Earth, not Earth, but people on the planet Earth went through, it has an opportunity to clean now. But on the other hand, the higher things are now coming into blossom. Because we all know that uh, the corona is a lower um, symptom of something very, very high to do with that. Um, yes, uh, we're, we're having uh, veritic ver opportunities. And on the physical lower end, it's a uh, disease, but they're very high, beautiful things wanting to come in now. I, I have to add on that that we need to take a look on Earth's magnetic field and what is happening now, okay? Because yeah. everything is now, um, okay, It's it starts with the fact that the solar activity is very much lessened in the last year, lessened. Yes, you know, for, for years now, the NASA uh, um, tracks the solar activity, and we know solar fire, uh, solar winds, and uh, spots on the sun, which are not spots, it's spirals of storms, and all of these like whoosh, lots of solar energy to planet Earth. Now, if this is the sun, yes, okay, this is planet Earth. Okay, so we have the sun, we have planet Earth. In the, the aura of planet Earth, it has two sides to it. It means that it's not round, okay? The side that faces the sun is like half an apple, okay, and here are the holes, okay, and the other side, you would think it would complete it, right, but actually, it does something like this, okay, and this is Earth's defense system, 
against the solar activity. So the sun sends us rays. Okay. Earth says, no, 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 no. Okay, and has the aura that defends her from the sun's activity. Okay. Um, everything also has the love too in it. Okay? So we have, of course we need the sun's energy. This is our life, but too much is destructive. Uh, and what you're seeing here, we need to remember that this side is day and this side is night. So it's not like, you know, Australia is in the light and Africa is in the dark or something like that, but rather this always turns. So th this is what happens during daytime. We actually defend ourselves from the sun and during the, the, the night, yes, there is much more, like things are going out and there is much more space and we're more open to the universe. Now, uh, do you want to see something amazing? This is this. So think about it, right? It's like a human body or an aura or an angel, and this makes so much sense, right? Think about the head and the heart, and right? Just look, yes. All a matter of perspective, right? Yeah. Okay. These spots there, where, uh, where, where the Van Allen belts come close to the planet. Exactly, these are the poles. So this yeah. is the Antarctica and Alaska, and this is why, oh, in the poles, you see the um, a Corona Borealis and Corona Australis, right? Because this is where uh, the aura is weak, okay? So you actually see the, the solar activity, okay? This is what we're, it's beautiful, but this is also what we're, defending us, ourselves from, which, by the way, are exactly the same, but opposite. Yes. Would that be in the, in the human complex like the, the ears? Good question. You know, I never asked myself this question, but it's, it's a very important, or yes, yeah. maybe the ears, so this is where things can come in. There's okay. holes. Yeah, or the temples here from a baby. Hmm, beautiful. Or the hands? I don't know. It's so, right? It's why, okay, why the hands? <laughs> the hands? You mean this? Yeah, be the hands, yes, because this is what we have you know, going out of our body. It's, it's not holes, it's the opposite, but it's, it's a good question. It's, it's a good, 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 good question. Okay. Now, as the solar activity uh, lowered, the, the amazing thing that is that everything is responsive. Everything is responsive. The aura of Earth, as the aura of human, it's not something firm and always is the same. It's very responsive. And as the solar activity lowers, okay, then the, the whole the Sense system of planet Earth, the auric sheath of an Elendale of, of, of planet Earth, are weakening. Okay, so what it means is that higher things during this time can actually enter. If we have things coming up upper from upper. Uh, places from the rev creation or the, the new thing. You know, there is nothing new under the sun, right? But now that the sun is quiet and we lower our auras with, okay, something new from above the sun can enter. So if you think what happened to us, the, the humankind, right? We are all, we were all quiet. The world was quiet, we can take off our defense 
system. Yeah, so during this time, we didn't need to face or a, a, you know, life and have a strong defense system in our aura, just as planet Earth. We could lower our shields, we were in our own safe place, no major tasks, more quietening down, and hopefully it made us more open now to higher things to come in. So it's all the same. It's very interesting how it works. Naturally, the, the more problems, stress, uh, confrontation a person encounters, they actually become more dim. Because uh, they, now it's not only us, yes, it's every person needs to have their shields if they're attacked. Yes, and this creates an isolation also from the world. This is why people are so isolated and unsensitive. Being alone at our house finally yes, allowed our defense system to, to lower its uh, shields. So now, an, an, another interesting time when th this kind of thing happens is also if you think of an oven, okay? Because, uh, yes, the, the egg, the human egg, uh, you know, there was these, uh, in, in the past, it, it, scientists thought that the strongest uh, sperm is the one that gets to enter the egg, right? And now we know that it's not, yeah, <laughs> the winner is, but now we know that it's not so, it's not so, that at some point, the ovum itself lowers its guards and actually opens to what she recognizes as what she wants, you know, that it might be... <laughs> The, the smart one and not the fastest one or, you know, it's very interesting, very, very interesting. So, guards are off now, okay, of planet Earth, of people. This means that things can enter for good and for bad, okay, but things can enter now. So, this is one thing to, to notice that we are at a time where something can enter planet earth 